had a conversation with a friend just, just a few days ago. There were three of us just around the table and we were talking about our faith and the Holy Spirit and, and, and you know, growing up in, in the thick of church and serving and, and we're just talking about, you know, what, where are we at now? What, what does this all mean now? And, and one of the guys around the table was just, you know, just talking about how, like, you know, his experience with, with faith and church is like a nice thing to do these days, you know, and oh, it, just, it just gripped me because I just wondered if that's the cry of a generation. Is, is, is that the cry that, that this is just something nice to do now, you know? Is it, is it no longer transformative? Is it no longer a game changer to surrender your life to Jesus and to, and to go after the Lord and to say no to things you need to say no to and to sacrifice and to lay your life down and to pick up your cross and to follow Jesus? I mean, is that no longer exciting, you know? And, and I don't know, maybe there's a part of me that's scared that, you know, I don't want to get to a place where, where this just becomes a tick box, you know? I'm, I want to, I'm trying to figure out how do I, how do I remain close to Jesus? How do I stay in close proximity? And it's hard. Day in, day out, we've got meetings, we've got deadlines, expectations, you know, that we place on ourselves and others place on us. We have to live up to the call every day. And how do you, how do, you do all of that? And just keep a soft heart and not have your heart hardened to the things of God, to what the Lord is saying, to His Spirit. We need to stand up at the moment and, and we need to get back into the Word and, and figure out what it means to, to fall in love with Jesus and, and, and just get the passion back.